Hello mga kawamat! In this video lesson, we will discuss another strategy in business, the markdown. Markdown, it is obtained by getting the difference between the original selling price and the new selling price. The reasons entrepreneurs reduce the prices of commodities in order to first, meet the prices of competitors. So, like for example, no, kapag mas mababa yung offer dun sa kabila, so dapat ano rin natin, sabayan natin, pantay, uh, dapat yung price natin ay maka mapantay dun sa ino-offer ng kabila. And then, attract more customers. So kung bakit binababaan natin yung from regular price, mas binababaan natin yung presyo, of course, para maka-attract ng mas maraming customers. Like for example, kung tayo ay yung buyers, di ba bago tayo, Uh, bago tayo mamili o bilhin yung isang gam, isang bagay ang ginagawa muna natin hindi tayo nag stay sa isang tindahan lang so iikot muna tayo magtatanong-tanong kung sino yung nag-offer ng mas mura doon tayo bibili so attract more customers like for example sa mga appliances di ba so bago tayo bumili ng mga appliances ti uh, magtatanong-tanong muna tayo kung sino mas mababa same brand Uh, same quality, kung parehas lang naman, kung sino yung nag-offer ng mas mababa, doon tayo bibili. And then, have more sales, of course. Uh, lalo na, itong markdown, kadalasan, uh, di ba, pag sa SM, nagkakaroon sila ng, ito yung isa sa mga strategy nila, nagsisale sila. From the regular price, nagkakaroon sila ng mga sale. Let's say, 3-day sales. O lalo na, pag malapit na yung Christmas, malapit yung pasukan sa school. So, yan yung isa sa mga strategy nila. And then, clear the store of old stocks not selling well. So, kesa mabulok o kesa masira o hindi mapakinabangan, so, ibebenta nila ngayon mas na mas mababa doon sa original price. So, yan yung markdown. So, ang markdown, ibig sabihin, reducing the original selling price. So, ito mga terminologies na gagamitin natin sa video, les sa video lesson na to. So, markdown, the original selling price, the new selling price, and the markdown rate. So, the formulas for markdown, the original selling price minus the new selling price. Okay. And then, another formula para kunin natin kapag given yung markdown rate, so, paano natin computing yung markdown? sa so, original selling price times the markdown rate. And for new selling price, paano natin kunin yung new selling price? The original selling price minus the markdown. And then, the markdown rate, paano natin compute yung markdown rate? Markdown divided by the original selling price times 100. So, ito yung mga formulas na gagamitin natin. For example, The original price of a year-old ve uh, vehicle is $1,890,500. So, the manager decides to reduce the price for $1,512,400. So, what is the markdown? So, what uh, first, let us identify what are the given. So, the original selling price is $1,890,500 and the new selling price is $1,512,400. So, the markdown, so ang gagawin lang naman natin, ima-minus lang natin from the original to the new selling price. So, that is 1,890,500 minus 1,512,400. The markdown amount is 378,100. Another, the original price of cell phone is 28,500. A year after, the entrepreneur decided to reduce The price for eighteen thousand five hundred twenty-five. So what is the markdown? So madalas ito nang yayare no sa mga brand ng cellphone. Kasi every time na may bagong ilalabas na model, so yung dating model ibebenta nila na na mas mababa. Kasi sure yung bibilhin ng mga tao, bibilhin ng mga customers yung bagong model. So hindi na attractive yung dating mga model. So ibebenta na nila mas mababa. So the given, the original selling price is twenty eight thousand five hundred. The new selling price is eighteen thousand five hundred twenty five, 
and the markdown. So, again, subtract lang din natin kagaya sa example number 1. So, 28,500 minus 18,525, the answer is 9,975 pesos. Number 3, the original price of important pants is tagged at 4,680 pesos and is sold now at 25% less. What is the markdown and the new selling price of the important pants? So, the given or the original selling price, 4,680 pesos. And then the markdown rate is 25% or that is 0 0.25 in decimal. So, first, compute the markdown. So, paano natin kinukompute yung markdown kapag ang given ay original selling price saka uh, markdown rate? So, multiply lang natin sila. Okay? So, 4,680 times 0 0.25 the answer is 1,170. So, ibig sabihin ito yung binaba from 4,680 uh, ni less ng 25% markdown rate. So, magkano na lang yung presyo natin? Okay? So, tingnan natin yung bagong selling price. Kung ang binaba ay 1,170 mula sa 4,680, so, ima minus lang natin yon. So, 4,680 minus 1,170 the new selling price is 3,510. So, ang mas malaki din yung binaba. Okay? Kaya, pag markdown, kadalasan sa mga sale to, no? Tingitingnan natin kung ilan yung uh, binaba ng presyo. ba? Minsan nakikita natin sa mga poster, okay, 10% sale on all items. Diba? Mga ganyan. Next, the original tag of which wristwatch is 5,970 pesos but is now being sold for 4,477.50. So, what is the markdown and the markdown rate? So, given the original selling price is 5,970 pesos. So, ang tinatanong is markdown and markdown rate. So, okay. So, that is... 5,970 minus 4,477.50, the answer is 1,492.50. Ito yung markdown amount. So, magkano ngayon ang markdown rate, yung binaba? So, mula sa 5,970, naging 4,477.50. So, magkano yung markdown rate? So, using the formula, Markdown, that is 1,492.50 divided by the original selling price, which is 5,970 times 100. So, the markdown rate is 25%. Another example, a wind trimmer was purchased for 40 pesos and was marked up 60% on cost. For a July 4 sale, it was marked down 25%. After the sale, it was marked up 30%. On September 1, it was marked down again 20%. Find the final selling price. So, tingnan natin no? ilang mark up saka mark down yung nangyari. From the original selling price, which is 40 pesos, and nag mark up, okay, na yung, nag, yung mark up rate natin 60%, yun yung una. So, what is the selling price? So, ang gagawin natin, para makuha muna natin yung markup amount, multiply natin itong dalawa. So, 40 times 60% is 0 0.6 in decimal. So, 40 times 0 0.6, the answer is 24 pesos. So, magkano na ngayon ang bagong uh, amount, yung bagong presyo? So, from 40 pesos, di ba, nag-markup, ito yung unang markup, nag to, nagtaas ng 60%. So, from 40 pesos, idadagdag natin yung markup na 24 pesos, that is 64 pesos. So, yung presyo ngayon is 24, uh, 64 pesos na. Pero, nung July 4, nag-markdown naman siya ng 25%. So, magkano na yung presyo kapag nag-markdown? Mula 64 pesos, nag-markdown ng 25%. So, again, Kukumpitin muna natin yung markdown amount. Okay? So, ito yung unang markdown. Kaya nilagyan, natin, nilagyan ko ng MD1. So, i-compute natin 
using yung bagong selling price na 64 pesos times yung markdown rate na 25%. So, 64 times 0 0.25, the answer is 16 pesos. So, yung markdown amount is 16 pesos. So, mula 64, ima minus natin, 64 minus 16, the answer is 48 pesos. So, yan yung amount. No, nung nag-sale ng July 4, it was marked down 25%. So, ang presyo na nun ay 48 pesos. But, after nung sale, so na, after nung sale, it was marked up 30%. So, mula sa 48 pesos, tumaas ulit ng 30% yung amount. So, kukunin muna natin yung markup amount. So, ito na yung pangalawang markup natin. So, nilagyan ko ng 2. So, ito yung una, ba So, 48 times, magkano yung markup amount? 30%. So, 0 0.30 times 48, the answer is 14.40. So, ito yung tinaas ng presyo mula 48. So, magkano, yung, uh, uh, magkano na yung selling price? So, yung bagong selling price. So, dagdag natin, 48 plus 14.40 the answer is 62.40. So, ito yung amount nung after nung sale. So, nag-mark up ng 30%. So, ito na yung amount, yung uh, price. And then, after nyan, so on September 1, it was marked down again by 20%. So, mula sa 62.40, kunin natin yung 20% na markdown. So, ang 62.40 times, yung 20%, that is 0 0.20. So, the amount for, uh, the markdown amount is 12.48 pesos. So, magkano na ngayon ang pinaka-final selling price natin? So, mula doon sa 62.40, bawas lang natin yung 12.48. So, the uh, final selling price is 49.92 pesos. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell button para updated kayo for more video tutorial. This is your guide in learning your math lesson, your WOW Math channel.